let's see who gets to live first! Oh, Tiny Vu has found a crab. This is the armadillo, one of the mobs that wants to join Minecraft. Sweet! Those are penguins! Hello everyone, I'm Echo, and today I want to share with you the facts and the features for each mob you can vote for during this year's Minecraft Live event. Currently, there is a lot of fan fiction, which is causing a lot of misconception about these mobs. For example, people have said, if the crab wins, we're getting a combat update or better PvP. No, unfortunately, that's not how this works. Do you remember when we seen the glow squid win? A lot of people in that trailer seen a sombarine and everyone thought that sombarines were going to be added. Guys, did sombarines get added to Minecraft? I don't think so. Look, I'm not here to influence your opinion. If you have your heart set on a specific mob, then vote for it. And that's honestly the best thing I can say to you. But what I am here to do is to tell you the facts and the features of what we know from the trailers. Like I said, there's a lot of misconception. There's a lot of speculation. A lot of people making things up to try and influence your opinion. So let's get into this. Let's do a breakdown of the crab. Now, during the actual trailer, we did see one of the crabs going up blocks sideways. But unfortunately, it was not mentioned that this would be one of its features. So this is kind of a 50-50 situation. It could possibly go up blocks sideways or it's not going to be introduced. Remember, we need to focus on the facts and the features that the developers told us during that small animation. But the first thing that we do know about crabs is their spawning location. As Jeb has said, they will be in a mangrove swamp. It lives in mangrove swamps, like this one. So we do have a spawning location of the crab, and I will admit to everybody, the mangrove definitely needs some more exclusive mobs. I actually don't really visit the mangrove because it really doesn't offer much for me, and the crab claw could actually change my mind. Talking about the crab claw, this is where a lot of fan fiction, misconception, speculation, and made up things are circulating the community. We actually have the official word from both Agnes and Jeb on what the crab claw can actually do. The crab's claw is very handy for players that like building. <laughs> Yes, uh, because crab claws allow players to place blocks further away. That right there is hard evidence. There is absolutely no mention of being able to have extended reach for PvP. There is actually no mention about being able to break extra blocks as well. The hard evidence right there is that Lady Agnes said the crab claw is very handy for players that like building like building only that's it and then jeb went ahead and said yes the crab claw allows players to place blocks further away now there is no disputing the ability to place blocks further away as a builder is an incredible feature but let's go over some of the fan fiction the speculation that the community is making up it's important that we know the features and the facts versus the speculation. I mean, come on, guys. How many times have we speculated over the years that a mob in a mob vote can do certain things and it never, ever gets added? It's going to be the exact same with the crab or the armadillo or the penguin. Starting with the speculation from Misty Cat, great YouTuber, but they tweeted this saying, here is my case for why you should vote for the crab. Now, of course, as you guys know, when you break trees, a couple of logs are always out of reach and you have to place a block down in order to break it but again this is speculation it's not confirmed although i do agree if the crab claw could do this then it would be an absolutely incredible feature but again this is all fan fiction it's made up it was all talked about being able to place blocks further in fact the community had to correct him even prowl said claw can only help place blocks so unless you plan on building that tree back, you're out of luck. And then the Pengu said, for context, the crab claw is only for placing blocks and does not work when breaking blocks. So this wouldn't actually work. And he was like, so where did it say the crab claw is only for placing blocks? So again, he isn't even fully aware of what the trailer and the article offers on Minecraft.net. Important to remember, speculation 
diverse facts and features. So for those of you that were hoping for some form of combat changes, that's not going to be happening. But what I can say about the crab that wasn't mentioned in the trailer, but was mentioned on Minecraft.net, is that the crab will actually wave using its claw. We don't do if, buts, or maybes in my YouTube videos. We do hard evidence and facts. Remember the facts versus the fan fiction. The speculation versus hard evidence. A little bit of speculation from myself though. If the crab claw is picked, it's highly likely gonna have to go into the player's offhand. Now currently the offhand on Minecraft Bedrock Edition is very limited. So this could actually push the developers to try and introduce more offhand support for Bedrock Edition players, aka give us the offhand torches as well as the Crab Claw. But yeah, again, that's speculation, but a high possibility. All right, that's all the information about the Crab. Let's move on to the Armadillo. <laughs> Starting off with the spawning location of the Armadillo. We know where this is going to spawn because Jeb has told us that the Armadillo will spawn in a savanna biome. But remember, it's not just a savanna biome. It is also going to be hot related biomes. It lives in warm places like this savanna biome. Well, actually, we do have evidence of the other biome where the armadillo can spawn. Now, it was not mentioned in the official trailer, but it was mentioned on Minecraft.net. As quoted, the armadillo calls the vast desert and savanna biome its home plodding serenely between the long grass. So it's not just a savanna biome, it is going to be a desert as well. So we'll have two spawning locations for this mob. Getting into the main feature with the armadillo, and that is that the armadillo will drop a scoot. We do not know if it's going to be the exact same one as a turtle, but the article says a unique scoot, which is indicating a separate type. And this can be used to craft armor for your wolf. The armadillo drops scute, which can be used to craft armor for your wolf. Here is a fun fact for you. We actually do have some type of wolf armor in a Minecraft game, and it's available in Minecraft dungeons. But no, this is just speculation. We do not know if the wolf armor will look like this. But what we do know is that it can be craftable, okay? It can be crafted into armor. And I like the idea of that. This will give your favorite four-legged friend some extra defense against hostile mobs. So a lot of misconceptions, again, about the armadillo is a lot of people have said that the scoot that it drops, it's just going to be craftable armor. It's just going to be just as strong as leather. No, it's highly likely to be more closer to the strength of what the turtle helmet already offers in Minecraft because the back of a turtle shell is incredibly strong, but also the back and the main parts of an armor dillo is armored. So it's probably gonna be a little bit better than the likes of your leather armor. Focusing on the fan fiction, the speculation, and what the community has made up. Now, I actually made up some speculation just based off my own opinions. However, I did say it's a long shot here, but armadillos spawn in the savanna biome, right? A long time ago, we had the possibility of termites during the biome vote. Guess what eats termites? That's right, the armadillo does. And I was kind of trying to put two and two together. The termites have been lost in time. The armadillo is going to spawn here, so why can't it eat them? Otherwise, what else would the armadillo eat in a Minecraft world? Now, besides that, it is speculation. It's just me theorizing what it could possibly eat. In fact, armadillos, they are nocturnal. They like to come out at nighttime. Now, armadillos, they like to eat bugs, insects, scorpions, and spiders. Something else that a lot of people have been speculating about the armadillo is that you can use the scoots to craft armor for yourself. No, it is just going to be for the wolf, for your pet dog, and nothing else. Not for you, not for any other mob, just for dogs. One more actual fact that we do know, it wasn't mentioned in the trailer, but was mentioned on the website, is that the armadillo can roll into a blocky ball if it is startled. And I imagine it would be protected, kind of very similar to the way the shulker would be when it goes inside of its shulker box. <laughs> Moving on to the third and final mob. It is a penguin. There isn't too many misconceptions with this, but not a lot of people know that this mob offers a bunch of stuff that the other two do not. 
and I want to share it with you. Starting with where the penguins can spawn, it was confirmed that the penguins live in stony shore biomes. And they are super friendly to the Minecraft player. Penguins live in the stony shore biome and they're super friendly. So don't be scared if they come up to say hello. A lot of people were disappointed by this. Why on earth is a penguin spawning in a stony shore? The only thing that I could think of is that the stony shore biome is very barren. But when anyone thinks of a penguin, they associate a penguin with a cold location. They think snow, they think ice. A lot of people wanted it to spawn in an iceberg biome or the ice spike. Well, actually, the penguin in Minecraft that they based it off is either a macaroni penguin or, in fact, a rock hopper penguin. And they are well known to not typically be in the cold location like an emperor penguin. However, the penguin offers what the other two do not. We know that the penguin would have a baby variation, so they could be bred. They can mate. There was no indication of being able to multiply crabs or, in fact, multiply the armadillo. Those are penguins. Look, there's even a baby. One thing a lot of people missed about the penguin is it looks like they will actually help bring items that are lost in the water to the player. There was no mention of this in the trailer, but we could definitely see it in this part of the animation. The main feature for the penguins is that penguins can help your boat travel faster. Penguins are a bit clumsy on land, but they are elegant swimmers. Penguins can also help your boat travel faster. If dolphins didn't exist in Minecraft, I would definitely be voting for the penguin. I feel like penguins should have been added to Minecraft a very long time ago. But in terms of the feature, it's just too similar to a dolphin. A dolphin offers dolphins grace, so you can swim incredibly fast through the water. I don't think penguins would make your boat go any faster than dolphins grace. Now, there is one misconception floating around in the community. And as this person has said, I am voting for the penguin because it might have the ability to make our own boats go faster, like in the trailer is what they are referencing. However, we did get the confirmation on the official teaser the other day where it said, Please note, block built boats cannot sail in the game. So unfortunately, you're not going to have the ability to make your own created boats or ships sail using penguins. And that's it for today's video. I'm not here to persuade you. I like the armadillo. I'm not so keen on the feature because I don't use wolves very often, but I just love armadillos as an actual animal. They're so unique. I do think Minecraft needs crabs, and I also think Minecraft needs penguins. But like me, you guys probably have your own reasons for wanting to vote for a specific animal. That being said, we're around about one week away until the developers will release the official voting system, which can be done on official Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. I'll make a video on that. It is coming on the Minecraft launcher, and you can vote on Minecraft.net. Let me know what you're voting for. But remember, it's important to remember the facts and the features versus speculation and the expectation. Have a wonderful day.